Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about the Australorp chicken and everything you need to know before getting one, or if you got one, you can learn something new. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's how we continue to grow our channel so we can continue to put out great content for you all. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description below, you will receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chickens and an in-depth breakdown of each one. So let's get into it. The Australorp is a fairly recent arrival on the chicken scene. Still, it has made a huge impression on chicken keepers and the poultry industry the world over in a relatively short period of time. The name is a contraction of Australian Black Orpington. It was called several different names before Australorp was settled on. Since Australians did the major development of this breed in Australia, they are the honorary national bird of Australia. Now we're gonna go over their temperament, their egg laying ability and breed standard before addressing how to care for them and common health issues. So the history. In the early 1900s, William Cook's Orpingtons were imported to Australia to create a good dual purpose bird suitable for the Australian climate. People crossed them with Rhode Island Reds to improve the egg laying ability. In England, the Orpington was being refined to produce good quality meat. Still, the ever practical Australian poultry breeders of the 1920s wanted a good utility bird emphasizing lots of eggs and secondary meat production. To this end, Cook's Orpingtons were crossed with Rhode Island Reds, Menorcas, White Leghorns, Langshins, and possibly some Plymouth Rocks. The result was a phenomenal layer hen, probably the combination of an Orpington, Leghorn, and Rhode Island Red. Genes made this bird a laying superstar. Between 1922 and 1923, six Australorp hens laid 1,857 eggs, averaging 309 eggs per bird over a 365-day period. Farmers held red regular egg laying contests all over Australia in the following year a hen laid 347 eggs in one year. The current record stands as 364 eggs in 365 days. An amazing achievement especially when considering they did this without extra lighting for the hens. Poultry industry soon became interested in them because of the prolific egg laying ability. It was a breed they didn't have to coerce into laying. The interest waned in the 1930s and 40s as the Australorp was crossed with the white leghorn creating the Austral white and even more productive hen. Australorp went into a decline, which has been reversed over the last few years. It's listed as a recovering breed. They remain a top layer to this day and are well suited for smaller backyard environments. The Australorp, while shy initially, is known to be extremely friendly large breed chicken. They make the perfect children's chicken and are great for those who are interested in fair chickens. Now let's talk about the breed standard. The American Poultry Association recognizes the Australorp in its original color only black. However, the Australian Poultry Society recognizes the black, blue, and white varieties. South Africa has buff, splash, wheat and laced, and golden in addition to the other colors. The Australorp is a large, heavy bird with close-fitted, soft feathers. It's classified as a heavy, soft-feathered English bird. It should have a very upright stance, carrying the tail high. The breast is full, well-rounded with a deep, solid body. Waddles, earlobes, and comb should all be red in color. The comb should be upright and have no more than seven points. The legs should be clean of feathers, black or slate blue in color. There are four toes to each foot and the skin on the bottom of the foot should be white as is the body's skin. Eyes are shiny jet black and the beak is dark in color. The standard size birds are heavy with a male weighing between eight and a half to 10 pounds and a hen between six and a half to eight pounds. Bantams weigh in at two to 2.7 pounds for males and 1.7 to 2.2 pounds for hens. Now let's talk about their temperament and appearance. The feathers of the black Australorp have a beetle green shade in the sunlight, giving a studding iridescence to the feathers. It is somewhat stately in walking, a trait it got from the Orpington, which sort of glides across the barnyard, much like a duchess at a tea party. They will tolerate confinement well, but like most of the heavier, larger breeds, they'll enjoy free ranging and searching for bugs in the yard as they really like to be active. The exercise aspect of free ranging is good for them since they can be slightly prone to obesity if kept solely in confinement. These birds are a fast growing breed with a slightly shy demeanor initially, but once they settle in, they're likely to follow you around the yard if you have any treats in your pockets. Now let's talk about the egg laying. The Australian 
Phosphorolorp is an egg-laying machine, although not as prolific as their forebears. The current variety will give you an average of 250 eggs per year. Individuals may lay more or less depending on the hen. This equates to around five light brown, medium-sized eggs per week, not too shabby. In an industrial setting, they produce more eggs since their lighting and feed are strictly controlled for maximum output. Depending on the line of Australorps you have, they're generally known to be average to good nest sitters and good mothers to their chicks. Some information out there say they are not good sitters, but other folks have said they are good sitters and mothers. The Yaz seem to outnumber the names. They are average in broodiness, unlike the parent bird, the Orpington. Now let's go through the health issues and special needs. This is a robust, healthy heritage breed. There are no special considerations for this easygoing hen. The life expectancy is between six to 10 years. The usual attention to parasites and other minor issues of chickens is really all you need to be diligent about. Due to the Australorp's intensely beautiful black feathering, the Australorp needs access to shade 24 seven. Even though this chicken is a hardy breed and tolerates the heat well, it's more susceptible to heat stress than other breeds of chickens. So is the Australorp right for you? If you're looking for a hen that's easy to care for, will lay an abundance of eggs and fit well with your current flock, the Australorp might be your next hen. Although they can be a little bit shy, they'll warm up to you and be friendly and lovable barnyard companion. They have a gentle, sweet disposition, not a mean bone in their bodies, including the roosters. They are calm and quiet breed, not really pushy. They will likely be in the middle of the pecking order. They can get bullied by more aggressive breeds, so keep an eye on that. Well, that's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That way we can continue to put out great content for you all. With that, I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.